Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Friday morning. And here checking out the news, having my coffee. I'm going to go warm it up. But we're going to get right into the daily bread today. And this is going to be coming out of Titus 2 and 2. Oh, they talking about the little boy that uh, wandered off. They found him. He was safe. Uh, he was entangled in some little, you know, way, uh, weeds and stuff. He had just got deep down in the woods. They say he was about a quarter quarter of a mile away from where he lived. And he was just out playing, but they found him. He got a little couple scratches on him, but they say he was fine. And that is a blessing because I was like, oh, Lord, poor baby. See? The missing child crying for his mother deep in the woods. Rescuers descended on the area and found the boy near a body of water entangled in thick vines and thorn bushes. Oh, look at him. See the little scratch he got? And he just a granny. Thank you, Jesus, for that, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Okay, I had to turn that down. I'll be wide open in the morning with the noise. So we're going to read this right quick. Okay. And again, it's coming out of Titus. That the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. In the book of Titus, there are many instructions on how people should behave and carry themselves. Here we see the older men are to be patient. That certainly contrasts the news paper cartoon image of the grumpy old man yelling at kids. The instructions are not so you have more rules. It is how we believers set ourselves apart from the world and how they see Jesus in us. Lord, help me live in a way that others see you in me. Make me sound-minded, having solid faith and patience. Let me be giving and generous with my possessions and time. I pray for the older men in my church. Confirm them to your character. Keep growing and maturing them until they walk in their day with you. Thank you for your instruction and wisdom you have given us in Jesus' name. Amen. Choose God, choose life. Okay, and here's the quiz. That the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, and patience. Titus. Why I don't know this. Uh-oh. There's something wrong with this one. Let's see. Titus. Awfully low. We ain't gonna sweat it. It's still working. Let me reboot it. Oh, thank God it's Friday. I got two off days, but I'm working some Saturday for another store. And, um, I had just something to do. And, uh, then I guess this weekend I get my house in order. And see what I'm going to cook good Sunday. Because I'm off Sunday. I get the all day off Sunday. So that's a blessing. I ain't going to do nothing but rest. Oh. <laughs> Girl, that was that phone. Okay. Rest and get everything together Sunday. And yes, we're going to church again Sunday. I'm going to get up and do Dorothy McGuire. And then I'm going to get out of here at 11 o'clock. Y'all about 1045 and get, go to my church right here. Okay, so y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Have a good weekend. Get you some rest. And oh, yeah, it's cold out there this morning. They say it's 30 degrees colder than it was yesterday morning. Yesterday morning it was almost 60, 50-something degrees, but it's 30 degrees cooler. So y'all get ready because it's sharp out there. I open the door up and see how it felt. Oh, yeah, it's sharp. So y'all have a blessed and wonderful day, and i get back with you later. Bye now. Whoosh.